A video of Rashmika Mandana has gone viral, but it turns out it's not her. It's a deep fake, just like this video. I'm little younger than this. If you're not living under a rock, you have definitely come across the term deep fake. But to understand deep fake, we first need to understand what is AI. Yes artificial technology. AI has taken over the digital world. In simple term, AI is a computer program that can do things that usually require human smarts. Now, we human beings are great at some stuff like recognizing things visually, understanding speech, translating language, making choices. Uh, well, not really great at making choices, but still, all these things can be done by a computer too. And they're getting quite good at it. Now, AI is increasingly being employed for more significant undertakings such as generating images and videos featuring well-known and influential people, transforming them into convincing deepfakes. What are deepfakes and how do they work? Now, deepfakes are basically AI to create a digitally forged image or video of a person to make them look like someone completely else. There are several different ways in which deepfakes are created, but the most common means is by using deep neural networks involving auto-encoders that employ a face-swapping technique. Now, creating a deepfake video is actually quite easy these days, especially with so many AI tools that are readily available. So all you need is a video that you want to change. You need a video of the person whose face you want to use in that video. And that's it. Software is going to take care of everything else. The videos won't have to be connected. The main video can even be a clip from a movie and the other videos can be just random home videos. Now, that is scary. To make deep fakes using AI, we rely on smart algorithms, especially GANs or generative adversarial networks and computer vision technology. This is how we get those super realistic deep fakes. GNs have two parts, a generator and a discriminator. Now both these parts, they battle it out to create new stuff that look like original. The generator learns to make an image of videos that copy a specific person's face, while the discriminator tries hard to discriminate the real from the fake. So is this technology dangerous? Of course. Keeping recent incidents in mind, it is safe to say that this technology can be extremely misleading and in turn dangerous if misused. There are a number of people on social media who are using deep fakes for fun videos and for creating hilarious content. It is even used for entertainment. Even some Instagram and Snapchat filters are now capable of creating deep fakes that to uninitiated can look convincing. Now to create highly convincing deep fakes, some sort of skills are definitely required, but deep fakes that are created using these advanced technologies are very difficult to tell apart. And that is the scary part. As the technology gets more sophisticated, it will make it difficult to differentiate the fake from the real one. In fact, this has already been used for malicious activities related to election interference, political tension, and other criminal activities. Deep fake are of course being used to conduct frauds, to spread fake news, pornography, propaganda, scam, you name it. They are being used for doing these malicious activities with, of course, different intent. And it is very important that they be regulated, which is not that simple. Now, how can you detect a deep fake? Well, currently there are different ways to spot if a picture or a video is a deep fake or not. The easiest way to figure out if you are looking at a deep fake is to see if they are blinking. If a video continues for several minutes and the person in the video hasn't blinked all through, it can be a great sign to detect the deep fake. If you look closely and notice that the face seems a little off from the background, then it may be a deep fake. This can include the face appearing blurry or misaligned. It seems different from the rest of the body. If you see changes in the lighting on the face or a different color from the background or notice the different shadows, that's your clue. The focus is more on image rather than on the audio. If you spot differences in audio, speech, language or anything like that, it might be a deep fake. Deepfake, of course, are being used for more bad things than good. So it is prudent to be cautious and watch for those warning signs. And the least you can do is not to spread them.